If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. So we have been moving right along our NeoVim configuration for a Laravel development environment. And today I want to do something that's pretty easy, but it will give us a nicer look than what we have now. Something that you can do in NeoVim is have a theme. Now there are a bunch of different themes out there. You can customize, configure, and basically all of the systems that we're looking at, all of the different plugins, the search functionality that we're going to end up putting in, it doesn't look all that great right now. We want to add some personality to it because this is part of the NeoVim experience. I want to set up the theme that I'm using, which is Tokyo Night. And again, that's a Folky package. And as I said, Folky has a lot of packages. This will be good practice on us setting up a very simple plugin to handle something very simple, which is our theme. Well, actually handling the theme isn't as simple as it seems, but for us to implement it, it is super easy. These can be used in all kinds of different terminals or working environments. You can see there are themes for Kitty Alacrity, iTerm, and Fish, which I think is pretty cool. This one kind of looks like VS Code to me, but I think I might also be a little colorblind, so it might not. This is one that I like in particular because it's a little bit less less bold in color. You also have moon, which has a little bit more of a darker vibe to it. And then you have day, which I don't think anybody uses, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Let's see, we have NeoVim, and that's really all that we need to have as a prerequisite. But let's go ahead down to the requisite is 0 0.08, and we have 0 0.10. Installing it will just be as easy as copying this. In our terminal, we'll use the alias that we created. What we can do here is create another plugin file. And this one I just like to call color scheme. Dot Lua. And that's because if you change it, it doesn't matter. You can change it and put it in this file. And that's where your color schemes are. No matter which color scheme or theme that you decide to use, you can just delete whatever this is and put whatever it is you want. But the cool thing is because we're using lazy, lazy is always trying to see if we've added anything new and it lets us know that we're doing that. The config has been changed. It's reloading. This file has been added that we just created. Press type or enter. Now I don't particularly like that and we're going to fix that, but for now, now, just press enter. So let's go ahead into our color scheme. Like we did last time, we'll press return. And then we'll paste in what we just copied from the documentation. Go ahead, clean that up. And all that is that I just did to realign that was you can highlight everything. Use the V for visual mode and then highlight it and then press equal sign and that will fix whatever that lineup is. And again, we did that in the previous episode. Let's go and save this and see what happens. Go back. And as you can see, Lazy Vim is now trying to install it. It has been installed. There are updates available. We won't worry about that right now. But for our purposes, I'm going to quit out of this. And as you can see, something's different. but it's not quite what I wanted. Now, why would that be? Well, I want to add some more colors to this, but something that we need to do is, yes, we have the color scheme installed. Yes, it is trying to do something, but we do need to load it. We'll do vim command equals, make some straight brackets here, color scheme, Tokyo, close those off. Okay, that should be good. So let's try this and see what's going on. Tokyo Night failed to load. So it failed to load it. Tokyo Night, it's not picking it up. Go and check our plugin and make sure, as you'll find with a lot of these packages, is that we need to do require. The require equals Tokyo Night. You can't call something like we did here without having something to call it from. So we need a setup function here. Then in here for right now, I'm going to do style equals night because I just showed you a bunch of different ones that it has. And so night is the one that we want to let it know that it works. So let's see. Plugins, color scheme, expected. Let's try that again. Let's see. Plugins. So we need to do const config 
equals function. And in that is what we put this in. So as you can see, we have now our night installed and we have those nice color schemes. If we go to here and let's say we create something, as you can see, that looks a lot nicer than it did in the previous video because we are using that Tokyo night color scheme. Things that I do want to change in this configuration file. And one, I want to add some different colors in here. These colors, everything that we add will be in my dot files. I have linked them down below so that you can go ahead and grab them. There's no official repo for this, but just so you know, that's where they are. And let me just get rid of these real quick. Sometimes when you're copying and pasting in WSL, you get these things and I don't need them. I'll get rid of them. But we just have some colors for the BG, BG dark, BG highlight. We're just customizing some of these colors a little bit further. The other thing I want to do is I want to get rid of this lazy equals false because we're going to call it within the lazy dot Lua. We're not going to need that. And we also don't need this ops in here. The other thing that I want to do is I want to add some more colors to this because that's just these up here are just for certain specific things. And I want to add some other colors as well. I need a comma up here or else we'll get an error. That's pretty much all we're going to need. It's just calling these variables from up here and it's assigning them to different properties within the colors function in the configuration. Let's just do that really quick. See how that's changed. And that's given us some more blues and greens, which are my particular preference. This is pretty much done. But again, I want to get rid of some of that stuff that goes on when you install a package which had that little pop up down here. Install another plugin today that's also going to pull together our color scheme in here. And as you can see, these are kind of faded out and they just don't look very great. So if I go to insert, you can see we still have the Neo Vim insert thing down here. And I want to have more colors so that it brings more attention to what buttons we're pressing and, and sort of handle that. So there's another plugin called Lua Line and Lua Line essentially does that. Lua Line.nvm and it's just, it configures the status line and it's also written in Lua. So it's a nice little package to do. And as you can see, it's got normal insert mode. You can change whatever you want to change. That's essentially it. Let's go ahead and install it. And as you can see, we have Vimplug, Packer, NVM, but we're using Lazy. So this is the one we're going to use. Copy that. And since it is technically another package, another plugin, I'm going to go ahead and create another file here called Lua Line. And all the dependency is, is that web dev icons, which we know we already have it installed, but it's good to keep them with whatever packages they come with. So let's quit out of all of this. Go back in. And as you can see, Lazy's going to want to install it. Now we have Lua Line. Let's go ahead and quit out of that. Go to our lazy. What are we working on? We're working on Lua line. Go ahead, open that up and let that be. But we actually haven't added anything to it. I completely ripped off this color scheme for Lua line from, I think it's Josian Martinez. Don't know if that's correct, but I'm going to put up his channel here because he did a really good job with it and I really liked it. Essentially, we are going to, like we did before, create a new function. We'll end it here and then we're going to create a couple of variables. We just need to require Lua line. And then for local, say lazy status equals require lazy status. Then we are going to define some colors which are going to be more of a blue, green, violet. We're just making sure that those colors are a little bit more custom to us. And as I said, I took this from Josian, so it works for me. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more. And again, these are going to be in my dot files. So you can have fun playing around with these. This is just for the inactive replace command visual. These are the modes that we have, and that's what's going to change those for us. 
Now we're going to come down here and paste in the last little bit. And that's just running the setup where we are bringing the options in here, which is the theme. And that's the My Lua line theme, which is defined right here with all of the modes that we have. And then we also have encoding, file format, and file type. These are just different options for the sections for Lua line. Let's go ahead, restart, and see what's going on here. Expected to close at line near config. Lua line. under dependencies. So I needed a comma there. So let's try this. As you can see, Lua line has changed up this so that if we change modes, let's see, let's go back to and let's say we do insert visual. I can't do visual block here, but you get the gist. So that's good. Something that we also want to handle is that little notification and stuff here when things have changed. We don't really want that coming up because that could really get annoying very fast. What we can do in the lazy.lua is add some new lines in here. The first is I want to install the color scheme. Because if you remember, we took off the lazy from that command so that whenever we initialize NeoVim, our theme should be one of the first things that is ready to go. So we'll say color scheme equals Tokyo Night. And down here, these things are called the checker. And even though we do want to make sure that the checker is running, so we'll say it's true, we do want to say that it doesn't notify us. Also, for the change detection, we'll say that that equals notify false. We're not going to really see anything with that as of yet because we're not really installing anything else for this. Now, the last thing that I want to install, which isn't really, I mean, it's not really crucial to anything, but it is a cool thing to do. I'm going to get out of this. Let's say we just do NVIM and we get this welcome screen. That's what this is here. And it's, it's all right. But what we can do is, where are we? Are we in here? Yeah, we're in here. So we can create another file and I want to call this one dashboard.lua. What exactly is it? Again, there are almost thousands of these that people have put together so that we can use them in our NeoVim setup. It's basically a splash screen splash screen with some cool little what you call it's here and you can configure and change them up and do whatever you want to do with them and, and a lot of people have different ways of doing it but I'm just going to copy mine straight from my dot files so that I don't waste any of your time but that's pretty much what it is so if we come here now in our dashboard.lua I'm going to go ahead and paste in everything that I have from my config file and we are including that google lord alpha nvim package we have the dev icons as a dependency. And we are creating some variables in our function where we're requiring alpha themes and fortune because I don't know why I like it so much. I just do, which essentially just looks like this weird sort of dragon thing. I don't know how well it's coming up in the recording, but I like it. And the other thing that this one has in particular is some just cool little sayings down at the bottom, which where is that? It's actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead. Let's get out of here and let's do Neo config. And as you can see, lazy has already picked it up, is installing it for us. We'll get out of here. And did I do it wrong? I did. There we go. And we have our dashboard installed and it looks pretty good. I don't know how it looks on the screen as of now, but it's supposed to be like a Hydra type thing. We have some key bindings here that we will eventually be able to use, but right now we don't have telescope installed yet, so we don't have it. And as you can see, there's a nice little saying down here and it shows you who said it. It is important to remember that the first 90% of the code accounts for the first 90% of the development time. The remaining 10% of the code accounts for the other 90% of the development time by Tom Cargill.
If you're enjoying the content, please go ahead and click that like button as it really does help out the channel. Here's a video YouTube thinks you'll like, and here's a playlist to follow along. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.